three of America's top rationalist comedians on tour together in select cities. Ian Harris. You know, I was at the bookstore the other day. They have a book in there called Christianity for Dummies. And I was like, oh, the irony. Uh, Jason Ressler. I'll tell you who wants to see the legalization of marijuana. The Ziploc Bag Corporation. <laughs> and Maurice Northam. This could lead to pleasure. And I, for one, have never, no will I ever, pleasure a woman. The evolution of comedy is the sometimes edgy and always educational comedy show promoting critical thinking and skepticism. A few months back, a bunch of people showed up at the park and they were saying these things. They were like kind of striking home with me and making me feel it a little bit, you know? They were like, hey, we want everybody to have a fair wage. And I was like, yeah, I want everybody to have a fair wage too so they could come out and see my show, you know? And then they're like, we want everybody to have good health care. And I'm like, hell yeah, I want everybody to be healthy so they could come out and see my show. <laughs> Like, hey, we want everybody to have a good education. And I was like, hell yeah! I want everybody to have a good education so they could come out and see my show and get the jokes. And we know from, from science now, we know from research, that people who tend to be homophobic are coping with their own feelings of homosexuality, you know? You know, the Bible's got uh, uh, prohibitions against wearing clothing and mixed fabrics. Cotton and polyester, ew! <laughs> Sounds pretty gay to me. <laughs> Jesus hanging out at a party with 12 dudes. Whining and crying about somebody who betrayed him. That sounds pretty gay. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna go to the palace and do some Pontius Pilates. You guys wanna go? <laughs> Don't go, Jesus. You'll get nailed by Romans. <laughs> Right, you're as you are. They're like, oh, what month are you born? You're like, July. They're like, oh, July. <laughs> you and I will not get along. Because you are a cancer. And cancer is the most emotional of all the signs. And I am a Virgo. And as a Virgo, I'm very logical and very rational. It's like... Yeah, apparently not, because you fucking believe in astrology, all right? I was a spelling bee champion at an alternative continuation high school. <laughs> and I can prove it. I got the ribbon. I have it. And when you're the spelling bee champion at the alternative high school, that's letting everybody know straight off the top, I can spell way better than pregnant teens. Then you have the techie. The techie's the guy that's responsible for the scientific paraphernalia that they use on the show, right? He's not really a scientist himself. He's more of like a scientographer, right? <laughs> He's the guy responsible for like all the cool equipment, like the heatometer and the plasma grab and the shit that doesn't exist to phone, right? He's that guy. Does anybody know how many terrorists the TSA has caught? Zero is the correct answer. Zero. The underwear guy? Caught by passengers. The shoe bomber? Caught by passengers. Well, they claimed they caught a terrorist once, but it turned out it was just a Cobra Commander action figure they took from a kid. <laughs> yeah, like if I'm God and I don't want you to die in a horrific car accident because the world needs a solid Denny's waiter or whatever the hell it is you do, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hide your keys to delay you for two minutes. Because as an omnipotent being, that makes far more sense and is far easier than say, oh, I don't know, maybe I just don't cause a 50-car pileup and murder 20 people on the freeway? That's crazy. Why would I do that? I'm like, hey, what about them? What about those 20 people? You ever think about that? Maybe 20 people died on the freeway because you left your keys at home, you dick. Huh? <laughs> think about that? We want everybody to take your money out of the bank. And I'm like... Hell yeah, everybody, please, for the love of all that is good, take your money out of the bank. Huh? You guys have money in the bank? <laughs> Shit, I thought you understood my problems. And the two-man closer is unforgettable. You gotta know how much shit you're dealing with. You gotta know if you're dealing with a pile of shit. Man, that's a load of shit. Man, that is a bunch of shit. That is a crock of shit. <laughs> crock of shit's not that bad. Yeah. No, it's crock of shit. You can plug, plug it in, in, turn it up, it comes good again. Then you've got hot shit. The Evolution of Comedy Tour. If you like intelligently designed humor, 
It's the natural selection. <laughs> 